Hello everyone, this is Blessed and Saved. I just wanted to read out of First John, so I'll go ahead and get right to it. Chapter 1, King James Version. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and our hands have handled, of the word of life. For the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness, and show unto you that, and that eternal life which was with the Father, and was manifested unto us. That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you, that, we, that ye also may have fellowship with us, and truly our fellowship is with the Father, and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. And this is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you, that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him, and walk in the darkness, we lie, and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. So from that, we have to remember that God is light, and he wants us to come to him and repent all of our sins, and humble ourselves before him, and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, and that we need him. is coming soon and people are getting lots of dreams and visions, the earthquakes and volcanoes and lawlessness. Good is evil and evil is good. Everywhere you turn there is someone promoting something that's against God. They're trying to take God out of everything. As the church, we need to lift each other up, not cut each other down, and realize that God is light and love, and he wants this for his people. He doesn't want us fighting against each other. He wants us to share the word with those who are in darkness with those who are lost. Plant seeds as you go. Don't turn away someone because you're ashamed. Jesus Christ is Lord. Let him be Lord of your life. Turn away from all the things that we lust after in the flesh that profit nothing and turn to him Redeemer, the Lion, Lion of Judah, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Alpha and Omega. He's waiting. He's always there. It's us who turn away from Him. Turn to Him now before it's too late. Repent. Get baptized. Worship Him in spirit and in truth. God bless each and every one. Don't be deceived. Keep, keep praying for discernment. Keep praying that your spiritual eyes and ears and heart would be opened. Keep looking for confirmations. Fast and pray. Keep constantly searching for Him. Read scriptures every day. Draw closer to Him and He will draw closer to you.
God bless each and every one. Thank you for listening.